This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Monday of the third week of Easter. Today's reflection is entitled, Seeking Jesus. Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. This scripture goes straight to the heart of our priorities in life. What are you working for? Are you working hard for the food that perishes and only working slightly for the food that endures for eternal life? Or vice versa? For some reason, we can easily become obsessed with working for the things of this world. In the passage above, people were looking for Jesus because he had fed them the day before and they were hungry again. They were looking for food, literally. Jesus gently rebukes them because this is an opportunity to point out the real reason they should be seeking him. The reason is that He wants to provide the spiritual food of eternal life. What is the food Jesus wants you to seek? That's a question you must let our Lord answer in your heart. There are two key questions we should ponder here so as to let him answer us. First, what do I want in life? Spend time with that. Spend time all by yourself, and try to be honest with this question. What do you want? What is your heart's desire? If you are honest, and if you let yourself face your desires, you will most likely find that you have some desires, or even many, that are not put in your heart by Christ. Recognizing what these desires are is the first step to discovering what the true food is that Jesus wants to give you. The second key question is this. Are you seeking Jesus for the right reason? When we are sick, we seek a doctor for a cure. When a child is hurt, this child often runs to a parent for comfort. This is okay. We do the same. When we are lost and confused, we often turn to God for answers in help. But ideally, we will eventually seek God for more than just healing or comfort. We will ultimately seek God for the reason of love. We will seek Him simply because we love Him and want to love Him all the more. Reflect today upon your desire to seek Jesus, or lack thereof. When you can begin to seek out Jesus simply because you love him and want to love him more, you are on the right road. And when you walk down that road, you find it is a road of the utmost delight and fulfillment. Let us pray. Jesus, help me to seek you. Help me to seek you for the help and healing I need. But more than that, help me to seek you out of love. My Jesus, I do love you. Help me to love you more. Jesus, I trust in you.